Good day and welcome to Alena Media TV. We are broadcasting live from Toronto, Canada. I am Elsa Abraham. Today is African News. Now let's go for the headlines. The African Union Mission Troop in Somalia ushers a new force commander in Mogadishu. In our second story for the day, Hakalu's murders arrested. And in our last story, massive bread explosion kills more than 70 and hurts thousands of people. Now let's go for the news in details. Lieutenant General Dimode Indegia, who arrived on Sunday, would lead a force mainly from Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya and Uganda. The countries have been enforcing order in Somalia for over a decade now. The commander, who is no stranger to the country, will have to confront the unending Al-Shabaab attacks and the frequent claims of the presence of non amisan troops in Somalia. With a career spanning 38 years, General Indegia, 57, previously served in Somalia from 2007 to 2009. As a member of the Burundi National Defense Forces, Amisom's pre-deployment team in charge of supervising and training. In 2012, he was part of a reconnaissance mission to the Bay and Botal regions of the Somalia ahead of the Amisom troop deployment there. He has also worked as a senior advisor to Burundi's defense minister and published a number of research papers on peacekeeping missions in Africa and professionalization of the Burundi National Defense Forces, among others. Moving on to our next story for the day, the Ethiopian government says it has identified three people believed to be to have been behind the killing of Hakalu Hundesa, according to the Federal Attorney General Adanek Abebe. The suspects have confessed to their crimes. Two of the suspects are in custody, whilst one is on the run. Tilahun Yami is identified as the gunman, while Abdi Alemehu is accused of being an accomplice. The suspects held three meetings with, a, with their instructors as they planned the murder, the attorney general added. Authorities say that they were given instructions to undertake the killing by a group called Shane, which broke away from the Oromo Liberation Front, OLF. The OLF is a former rebel group currently registered as a political party. It is one of the main opposition parties in the Oromia region. The region was the epicenter of protest that killed over 230 people demanding justice for the famed musician who was shot dead in Addis Ababa. The government cut internet as protests began to spread last week. The capital, Addis Ababa, also recorded significant violence. Calm has been restored by the government, has, take, has kept an internet outage in place since July 30th. Over 3,500 people were also arrested for their roles in instigating violence in the community. In our last story for the day, the blast struck Barrett's port and surrounding area with a force of a 3.5 magnificent earthquake. The authority says a warehouse storing ammonium nitrate caught fire. It's a substance which can be used as a fertilizer or as an explosive. The blast comes at a sensitive time for Lebanon. The economy is in collapse and sectarian tensions are in the rise again. What triggered the fire is a matter of speculation. Shocked and bloodied residents staged into the streets. Thousands of people have been injured and scores are dead. The Prime Minister has declared a day of mourning. Hazan Deb, Lebanese Prime Minister, says those responsible for this catastrophic will pay the price. Hospitals are said to be overwhelmed as they already have to cope with the COVID-19 pandemic. International help and condolences have been offered 
end on investigation launched into why such a dangerous substance was stored close to the city. This is where we end today's African news. Please like, share, comment. Let us know your thoughts on this particular episode. Thanks for watching. <music>